Hello and welcome to an honest walkthrough and review of Westwood's latest library, Rota Solo Cello. This library is all about rhythm and to start with it has over 150 human performed tempo synced rhythms. Now they recorded these at three different tempos, 90, 120 and 140, but you'll be happy to know that it will sync to whatever tempo you set them in your DAW. I feel that is very important. You also have 13 short articulations which are really fun and honestly bread and butter i just wish they added like a legato or a long patch but understandably this library is about rhythm there's 30 flourish articulations a percussive patch where they turn the cello into a percussive instrument you also have eight different mic positions four are production ready mixes that they've created and then you have your box standard spot close room and ambience i believe we'll get to those shortly and then it works within the free contact player 6.6.1 i believe or later so it will work in contact player 6 some of you will definitely be happy to know that anyway you can read that at your own discretion let's actually jump into the plugin itself now there are four different instruments in the drop down within contact the rhythms shorts flourishes and percussion we're starting with the rhythms and as you can see broken down very nicely in this table here if you're working in your daw and your tempo is not 90 120 or 40 just set your tempo to auto other than that if you select these different tempos or anything over here you'll see these change this sometimes up to two pages going for you there and this is where we have the 150 different human performed rhythms four four six eight you can even go for a feel as well uh, from simple to gentle to alt and they do make quite a difference to the sound as well down here our mic positions are for mixes mix two is the automatic one but we can easily just turn that off and go over here and mess with spot close room and ambience there is a reverb you can select a different one if you feel like it or turn it off panning stuff dynamics you can get into the nitty-gritty of the samples and have the dynamics controlled via varsity or mod wheel and attack well actually just release on this one specifically but sometimes you do have attack and tightness depending on what's going on really like that you can see the round robins this gets really important we go to the shorts i think there's up to six plus round robins which is awesome effects tab there's stuff you can do there which is really nice settings bits and bobs just to make things a little bit easier for you velocity sensitivity always nice to see that and of course your general extra information one thing i will add as well they have extended the range ever so slightly you can go for the standard range which is that but they have got a little extended range which is automatically on now i feel we've talked enough <laughs> let's just start going through some of these because there's so many to get through we're not going to get through all of them but i want to give you a taster of a little bit of everything so we'll start with 944 simple <laughs> Very simple, bog standard, but that's exactly what we pick. Simple in 4-4, four, four. that's your simple rhythm. And you can obviously play it where it's all joined, but as you saw, as I did there, you can split it up as well, which is quite a nice effect and create almost your own rhythms with these. something a little bit quicker skipping ahead as well i'm going to try a different mix as well we'll go for mix one and skip to another one we'll also go to mix three now
Obviously, if you don't play in time, it's going to go out of sync very quickly. But what I love so much about this is it sounds so human. And how many times am I messing around with my strings, trying to make them sound good when I've just, all I've done is put a spizzicato on and I'm just messing around with the velocities trying to achieve these rhythms. Well, out of the box, we have those rhythms right here and there's plenty of them. Now, gentle, you'll notice these are a bit more open and loose. And as I said earlier, if you really want to add a bit of release, you can just do that, which gives you that transition period. And at the moment, I've got velocity sent to my dynamics, but you can quite easily set it to your mod wheel. Which is really nice. Now let's try mix four for our next articulation, skipping slightly ahead again. So as you can see, a wide range of articulations for these rhythms. It's not just spiccatos, staccatos. We've got pizzicato in there as well, and some more marcato ones as well. Uh, skipping around again, and let's bring in mix one and mix four. I'm going to turn mix four down ever so slightly. beautiful and human and plenty more for us to go through. We'll do one more and then we'll move on to the lively. I think we'll go up to about 120 for that as well. All right, we'll go back to mix two as well, turn both of those off. We're gonna go up to 120. Let's go to six, eight, lively, and see what this one sounds like. And such a human feel to it that fluctuation dynamic is in the sample What's nice within your DAW as well, you can match things up, quantize it, make it all match a bit. I know my live playing could be a little bit off, but it does bode some interesting results. Let's go to 140. What do we have as 140 and 6, 8? Nothing by the looks of it. But we do have a couple of alts. Let's have a look at some of these. Getting Steve Reich vibes, very minimalism. <laughs> the 
such a variety. Wow, it's got a nice scratchy sense to that. Uh, we're back in 4-4. Four, four. Let's go for 120. And 133, why not? In all honesty, that's all we have time for looking through these rhythms. There's 150 in total, and you can already see the variety you're getting. We'll do one more. I, I love this random button because in all honesty, you don't know what you're going to get. And we seem to get a very simple one, but as you can see there also, you can actually select multiples and you do that by holding shift on your keyboard. And so you can see there that you can ultimately, if you really want to and want to see absolutely everything that's there, at least select all of that. And you'll see we've got up to seven pages there and you can just scroll through absolutely everything that is available to you. So that's an option too, if you want to see everything at once. Now again we could apply some delay, some more stereo spread if we wanted to, and some EQ. Of course the reverb was on for that. And now as we move into the short patch, this is where I really want to show you the different mic positions, at least the individual ones off of the mix, so you can get a sense of what you're getting with those. And these are some really nice, unique mic positions which I absolutely love so we'll start with just our box standard spiccato so this is just your spot we'll have the reverb turned off as well so you can hear it in its roar so that's your spot moving over to our close Now over to our room. What I love is just how unique each mic position is. Now the ambient, you might not like that, but that might be perfect for some sort of a horror or weird track but what i love about these sorts of mic positions where you're like that just sounds completely off well yeah mix it in with the close and just listen to how much space that gives it so that's with the ambient on with it off and just the close it just adds that bit of depth to the sound and that's why i like those distant mics that don't sound quite right but add it to some of the closer mics and it just gives it a bit more breath. And we'll move over to our brushed shorts. Different in a good way and as you can see there are five different round robins with the spiccato you're getting seven round robins which is awesome and you can affect the attack tightness release and level there as well reset on transport other little things you can affect how the round robins work as well which is really nice you can have them random or cycle personally i like random it just adds a bit more realism to them i feel uh, brushed longs five round robins we'll stick with our mix
and even more when we click further a detuned spiccato So lots going for you there, plenty of shorts and lots to have fun. You can turn key switches on as well as you can see them up there. So don't worry, your key switches are there. And if you need to sort out space, you can purge velocity sensitivities there as well. And of course, move where your key switches are. Very, very important. Now, moving on to our flourishes, we again have 13 different ones. So let's just jump straight in. We'll leave it on uh, mix two and have our reverb on for this. And I will show you what's going on below so three round robins for these if we want we can double it as well uh, with the panning i'll show you what that does so that's our first one and if we double it spreads it out just a little bit more And of course, if you want multiple articulations on at once, again, just use your shift key and you can have multiple going for you if you really want to do that as well. Again, in our settings at the back, you can turn key switches on. They're not automatically on. So if you really need to change around, that is really important to turn on. And last but not least, we have our percussion patch. Uh, again, this is where I feel the effects would really come into handy. Uh, key switches there even though it's well it's just the one instrument with this one but i'll show you the sounds you can get with this so if you really want to make a drum out of your cello there you have it a really nice little bonus patch i feel there of course the rhythms are the center but i feel i'll be referring to this library a lot for its shorts as well so they have some beautiful and unique ones and what i really like about this library is how unique it is and how human and organic it really feels especially for quick rhythms which is a lot of the times what i'm using a cello for it's just a rhythm base then a little bit of texture and instead of having to craft my own rhythms use staccatos and staccatos and spending all that time humanizing it i'll just open this up and with the hit of a chord i've got exactly what i need and for the price tag the introductory price is what 115 dollars 97 pounds that's not bad at all for what you're getting i'd expect almost to pay double full price is only 165 dollars or euros or 139 pounds again that is not bad for the quality of what you're getting and especially those shorts with up to seven round robins it's quite a steal i'm very happy with this library and it's definitely something i'll feel i'll be using and definitely something different from the other strings that i have but what do you think of this library is this something you feel like you're going to be purchasing let me know down in the comments but thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video